Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Ignatius of, of Antioch. He was an apostolic father. What does this mean? He was a second generation Christian. He was a, a disciple of the apostles themselves. According to tradition, he was very much in contact with the Apostle John and possibly he was a disciple of the Apostle John himself. And St. Ignatius of Antioch, he had the privilege of being the Bishop of Antioch. Remember that in those days, in the Roman Empire, there were two important cities or centers of life. Alexandria, a little bit more to the south, and Antioch, that is right now around the territory of, of Syria. And St. Ignatius... He was a bishop of Antioch, and he was a successor of St. Peter because Peter was also in charge of the church of Antioch. We do not know much about um, the life of Ignatius, but we do, we do know that he was condemned to death by the emperor Trajan, and he was to be executed in Rome. So he was taken prisoner, prisoner in Antioch, and he had to do a long journey from Antioch, that is, to the east, all the way to Rome. And as he did this long journey, he wrote seven famous letters to the primitive Christian communities. And in these letters, we get to see a little bit of the early Christian life, and also the importance of the bishop. But there's a very famous letter, perhaps the most famous among the seven, that St. Ignatius of Antioch wrote, and that letter is a letter directed to the Roman community. This letter is beautiful. I would encourage you, if you have today the chance, to read this letter. You can find it online. It's very easy. And he has a lot of profound things where he shares that he shares with the Romans. There's a beautiful expression that we probably have heard before where he presents himself as wheat that needs to be destroyed by the mouth of the beasts so that he can become a clean bread for Christ. He knew that he was going to be executed by the beasts. And in fact, do you know how he died? He was taken to the Roman Colosseum and he was fed to the lions. And two hungry lions ate St. Ignatius of Antioch. And that is how he was killed. So when we look at the life of the martyrs, or the first martyrs, Catholics of the 21st century, I think that the life of the martyrs speak to us so, so strongly about the importance of bearing witness to our faith. And I think that when we celebrate the Feast of a Martyr, what we should ask, what we should pray for, is the gift of strength. Because martyrs had the gift of strength in a heroic degree, level. Because today, we're also called to witness our faith. And how many times I speak for myself, we are ashamed of our faith and we try to conceal our faith and we try to, you know, we're not open about it. But you, lay people who are in the world, who interact in so many occasions with non believers in your professional um, settings, my encouragement for you is don't be ashamed of the faith. Think about Ignatius of Antioch. Be able to share your faith. Remember the words of the gospel. He who is ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of him before my, before my father. So let us, let us be prompted by the example of Ignatius of Antioch. If this week the province of God gives us the occasion to witness to our faith, to share something about our faith, 
Do not let this example slip by. But take advantage of the small uh, opportunities that we have to share our faith with the non-believers in the same way that St. Ignatius of, of Antioch was able to be faithful to his, to his beliefs even when he was taken to the Colosseum to be eaten by the beasts.